So we are now in step 18.2. In step 18.1, you learn how to hide and unhide rows and columns in an, Excel, in an Excel spreadsheet. In this lesson, you will learn how to freeze rows and columns. And you can kind of see the difference in hide, unhide, freeze, and unfreeze. So another way to keep the rows and columns visible as you're navigating your worksheet is to freeze them. Basically, when you freeze a column or row, you lock them so that you can keep a visible area intact as you scroll your worksheet. So let's go ahead and get started. You should be in your Payroll 1 document, and we will save Payroll 1 as Payroll 2. Okay, so click on your View tab. First, click in Row 2. And click on your View tab. And in your Windows group, you want to find your Freeze pane. Drop down on the arrow and select Freeze Top Row. Now, notice when you freeze the top row, a line, kind of underlining row 1, appeared, which means that this top row is now locked. Scroll down to row 76. And notice that as we're scrolling down, notice all of our data is kind of scrolling under row 1, which allows us to see the years that go with the data. Alright, so we have just froze our rows. Now we want to freeze column information. So this time we'll click in column B and go back to freeze pane, drop down on your arrow. And this time we will freeze first column. All right, so scroll across your screen and notice that as we scroll across our screen, you have that same border in between column A. And as we scroll, we're able to match up all of our data with our employee information because this row, this column stays intact. So basically when you freeze your panes, it allows you to maintain your headings for your rows or your columns in your spreadsheet to kind of work through your data. Now, Go back to Unfreeze Pane and select Unfreeze Panes. And notice it, the line disappeared. And when I scroll over, as you can see, column A has disappeared as well. Now, you can also freeze both column and rows. So if you click in cell B14 and go back to freeze pane, and this time let's select freeze panes. And notice a thick black border appears at the bottom of the row and the column. Now, if you scroll down, and you scroll over, notice both column and rows are locked. So the advantage to that is if you're working in data, you're able to maintain your data going down and going over and freezing by freezing both columns and rows. All right. So now we need to unfreeze 
you just learn how to freeze and unfreeze column and rows and then un and then freeze column and rows at the same time so that it can better assist you in navigating your data in an Excel spreadsheet. Click in cell A1 and the next thing we'll do is learn how to split screens in Excel. So if you move your mouse and position it over to this hopefully you can see it it's called the split screen box if you put your mouse right above the arrow pointing up and you get a double headed arrow pointing up and down if you click and notice my my um, thick border if you click and let me try that again click and drag it down say to row 10 and let it go your screen is able to split in half now notice I have two sets of scrolls I have one for the top split screen and then a set of scrolls for the bottom um, screen notice what happens as I scroll down I'm at the top of my spreadsheet with employee I'm able to scroll down and look at my data and let me move that up at the top so this section of the spreadsheet stays intact while I'm able to scroll down and work with data at the top half of my spreadsheet or I can scroll up to the top and use my bottom portion of the worksheet to scroll down and work with the data. The split screen is nice because it allows you to keep um, spreadsheet information intact and work with the same spreadsheet information by scrolling. So if I needed to view the top set and actually work with my data in the second set, split screen allows you to do that. In order to get rid of your your split screen simply move your mouse over the split screen line and double click and it's gone you can also split your screen this way as well If I go to the middle split screen and again I'm able to scroll over both sets same data it just gives me two different views to work in the same data so you've learned how to freeze and unfreeze rows and columns and you've also learned how to split your screen again to get back to a normal screen you move your mouse on the double border double click and you go back to normal screen go ahead and save as payroll 3 And keep this document open for step three.